thing. Table three over there just drank his fourth cup of duck sauce. Lunar Max Prison, Boris the Animal. How did you know? He always had a taste for spiky bulba. Give us a break, will you, Chief? We're in a situation. <sighs> yeah. I'll take the chloropod, you take the tyrannomy and the hydronium over there. I'll take whoever's in the kitchen and meet you on the street. This is a very confusing time in my life. <laughs> That shirt won't get you through the airport either, yeah, will it? I know, Is that I have metal? all type of problems going through the airport with this outfit. I usually <laughs> just wear jogging pants, so I don't have problems. <laughs> which was which was interesting to bring us to this movie that yeah yeah injected a little bit of airport humor into into the movie with Will Smith talking about cell phones. I mean, right? I, how cool is it that Will is funny without like being overly funny, without actually like being comedy? Like he just has like yeah. this natural funniness about it. The secret to the whole Men in Black franchise is no one should be funny in the movie. Right. Situations can be funny, but no actor should try to act as if they're in a comedy. And what's great about Will is he has this tremendous energy mm -hmm. and karma and this great expressive face and this great acting ability, but he's never trying to be funny. Like right. if you think of the first one where Will looks in the car and there's a pregnant alien that throw it, pulls him through the car and slams him around. The scene is funny. And then when he gives birth to the baby and the baby spits up in his face, Will doesn't play that for comedy. He plays it for reality. Right. And that's why he's so funny. Uh, I'm interested in the fact that you, being a former uh, DP and, and cinematographer, moving into directing it, how... I mean, I know it's a lot of different elements that works into a director, but how is that, have you leaned on that as your strength from being able to see it from behind the, the camera to being a visionary for the, for the projects? You know, it's interesting. Uh, for me, I'm very comfortable around cameras uh, and, and angles, and all the movies look very specific uh, and have a unique visual style. Like, this one is in 3D, and I think it's the best-looking 3D there's of any movie ever. But... What, what being a cinematographer didn't train me for, and where I was most afraid of failing, was how you communicate with actors. Because mm. ultimately, what's gonna make a movie work is not angles or lighting, but is there chemistry between actors? Is the pace fast enough? And I've learned to love actors. I love being with them. I think that they're really what makes a movie. And for me, being a director is like being a parent. Right. Different actors need different things. One person might need to be, have me be stern. One might me, need me to manipulate them. One might need hugs. Mm -hmm. In the case of Will Smith, I just have to just avoid him so he doesn't hurt me because he's just got too much energy. Uh, so I love how important actors are to making a movie. Well, what was the challenge of using uh, Josh in this picture? Because... He had to recreate the chemistry that yeah. Agent K and Agent J has, you know, played by Tommy Lee Jones. So, what, how did y'all develop that that chemistry between uh, Will's character and, and Josh's character to, to still flow with the mood of the movie, the franchise? Well, you use exactly the right word, which is chemistry, and you kind of either have it or you don't, you know. And Will and I always said the only way we can fail is if we don't cast Agent. K, young agent K properly because the chemistry between Will and Tommy is so strong and so familiar to an audience that you don't want to go back in the past and have the audience say where is Tommy Lee Jones you've ruined everything right so it was my idea to cast Josh I'd seen him in W and I I thought he was great and we met and but you don't know until they get on the set, really. I knew Josh would nail the character, mm -hmm. but would he nail the chemistry with Will? And Will and I knew instantly. The very first day of shooting with Josh and Will, we were in Men in Black headquarters, 1969. We did the first take. 
I said, cut, and I burst out into tears. Josh tells people I was crying on the set, and I was crying because I was crying in happiness because I realized it's gonna work, and it did work. You have these in the future? No. Give it to me! I don't think this is the one where you get it now! You're out there, Chief? Hell yeah! Be better with four wheels! What happens if Boris gets the Arcan? Apocalypse invasion, total destruction of Earth! 